An update on a story that captured the attention of many in North Texas. 85-year-old Charlie Fink taken against his will into state custody under an emergency protective order. Remember Fink called Fox 4 Sean Rabb for help? Sean's next door in our Dallas News with an update on this case. You'll see only on Fox 4, and I, I think it's good news, Sean. It is good news. That call for help coming February 4th when Charlie Fink had been placed in a psych ward at Richardson Methodist after going in for hernia surgery. Doctors concerned he couldn't make good decisions about his health, and since his wife was already in state custody and some neighbors had expressed concern about Fink's well-being, Adult Protective Services began the process to remove him from his home. Today, though, it all came to a happy ending for Charlie Fink. Just about an hour and a half ago, Charlie Fink left the nursing home where he'd been in state custody since February 26th. Now, a judge had already said he felt Mr. Fink could take care of himself, but the Department of Aging and Disability Services took the time to review Fink's medical records, evaluated him individually, and then made a decision not to seek guardianship of Charlie Fink. Obviously, we've, we've had our ups and downs, but at the end, um, we were able to get Charlie out, and, and hopefully he'll be able to move on with his life and, and be able to continue the way he, he had before, but hopefully in a better way. How are you feeling? Oh, man, I'm like a million dollars, like a million dollars. I'm, I'm out. I'm free. I'm free. That's what I told the judge here over the first time. I said, I'm free. I said, but it, it didn't hold. It didn't hold. But now, bless her heart's. She done. She stuck. She stuck by my side. Now I'm free, and I ain't coming back. I'm not coming back. <laughs> the Department of Aging and Disability Services found Charlie Fink is capable of continuing to live independent and make sound judgments about his business affairs. Now, Adult Protective Services wanted to take control of Fink and his personal affairs more than a million dollars in assets. Fink says, though he never gave up hope that he would be free from the very first call to me until today, he always said one day he would be free for Charlie Fink. That day has come. Heather? All right, Sean, I know a lot of people like the way this story ended. Thank you much for all your hard work on this. All right.